hello everyone welcome to next video tutorial on third model double linked list okay uh, in the linked list the name itself indicates that double means uh, it contain two link uh, like uh, here i say uh, each node in double linked list contain three field like uh, this node i can take uh, it contain three field like uh, the item which i'm going to insert is an information field and uh, it is a left link and uh, and right link left link contain the address of previous node and the right link contain the address of next node for the first node uh, uh, there is no previous one for that uh, there is no previous node for that sake i'm taking it as uh, a null value and the uh, right link contain the address of the next node which contain the item 30 okay uh, as you can say using a doubly linked list uh, it is possible to traverse uh, the list in forward and backward direction or you can say two way uh, two way uh, uh, two direction we can visit the uh, node but in single linked list we can traverse through only one direction but in doubly linked list we can traverse in both the direction then uh, as i told uh, we have the operations like uh, insert from the both the end uh, delete from the both the end like uh, the first one inserting a node from the front end this is an uh, linked list initially in the step one always always create a node as we know whenever we call the get node function the node will get create then uh, i am giving the name for the node is temp here then temp pointer information is an uh, item what i am going to insert here i am inserting 50 then uh, temp pointer left link left link and the right link both are null because as of now i have only one node so initially uh, these two becomes null value then step 2 insert into an empty list if i said uh, uh, the the node i'm inserting into the list but the list is empty that time uh, uh, you have to check that if first variable is equal to null that time it indicates that the list is empty then return temp means that the whatever the temp node we have created that is the only node what we, uh, the list contains okay so initially the first is if it is uh, null that time temp will be added to the list then third step if it contain uh, the nodes more than one node for example in this in this given uh, list it contain one two and three node temp is a new node i'm going to insert at the beginning or you can say from the front so how to insert it insert into existing list like uh, this ins existing list from uh, 22 till 40 i am going to insert the element so temp is a node uh, how to insert we are going to replace this uh, um, temp pointer right link and provide connection to where to the first node similarly first node uh, this this first node left link this is right link this is left link you have to remove this null value provide direction to where provide direction to the temp like temp pointer right link temp pointer this null will be removed removed and provide the link to the first similarly first uh, first pointer left link this one uh, this null will be removed and give the uh, address of the temp that time the new node will be attached to the given existing list then uh, the first node uh, always return the first node the first node is temp now so return temp then uh, node insert double uh, link list from the front end or uh, you can write front here int item node first uh, like uh, in w link list uh, in the circular link list you always to make use of uh, node last because last from the last node uh, now it contains the address of first node so that is why in the circular link list we take the node last but in w link list always take the node first okay from the first node we can access all other nodes and write all the these four step inside this function okay then second one inserting from the rear end like uh, step one step two remain same 
then step 3 uh, earlier i am inserting the element at the front node but now i am inserting the stem at the last uh, at the rear end okay so uh, what to do for that we required uh, the last node of the existing list already we know how to obtain the last node initially we assign current equal to first and we keep on visiting the next node until uh, it reaches to the null earlier in the singly linked list only we have one link but now which link is you have to check you have to check for the right link if the right link uh, ends with a null character that time you can say that it is an uh, last node of an given existing list so initially current equal to first while uh, current pointer right link not equal to null so initially here it is not, e not equal to null so getting to the next node similarly it will move to the next node by making use of current equal to current pointer right link whenever this right link reaches to null that time it will come out of the loop that time uh, the latest value of current will be which holds the last node of an given existing list for this one we have to attach the temp node that is by how to attach it insert a node at the end current this current pointer this null will be removed current pointer right link it is connected to where the temp then this temp left pointer null is there you have to remove that provide a connection to where the current temp pointer left link equal to current then uh, step 5 return first so you have to return the first node Okay, earlier temp is the first node, but now by default the first is its its own position, like uh, return first. Now you have to write all the five steps inside the function, like node insert uh, w at rear int item node first, then write all the five steps inside of that function. Then uh, w link list deleting an element from the front end. Okay, how to delete an element from the front end so uh, always check for the list is empty or not in the first case if first equal to null means that uh, no, list is empty return null value if uh, the list contain only one node like uh, if i taken this node first pointer right link is equal to null it means that only one node is there that term uh, look at here if first pointer right link equal to null that time uh, the the list can a single node then item delete equal to percentage d first pointer info the 50 will be deleted then you have to free first this uh, node has been freed then what is left it is uh, first contain only null value now that is why we have to return null then if the list contain more than one node then this is this is an example i have to delete which node i have to delete the first node if i delete this first node what is left this seconds become the first so always obtain the address of second node because we have deleted the first node how to get second node second node is equal to uh, first pointer right link second equal to first pointer right link we obtain the address of second node then uh, make second as the first node okay if i delete this node if i delete this node then uh, second pointer left link uh, it, was, it was deleted it becomes null so that second pointer left link equal to null second pointer left link early, early rate contain first address but we have deleted the first it becomes the null now so null then delete the front node printf item deleted equal to percentage d first pointer info this 20 will be deleted then free first free this uh, then return second because the second become the first node you have to return second then node delete uh, from the front end node first inside that write all the five steps okay then similarly the next operation is uh, delete from the rear end first and second case remain same then uh, earlier we are deleting from the front end but now we are delete from the rear end how to delete it in order to delete the rear end element first we need to get the address of the last node Similarly, we required the address of previous also. Why? Because if I delete this node, okay, if I delete this node, uh, then uh, this becomes free. I required the, uh, this previous become the last node. For that uh, uh, condition, we required the previous also. So, if this is the first node, then what is the previous node? Previous node will be the null, okay. That is why, 
uh, obtain the address of first and previous. Previous equal to null. First node is I am copying it to the current. Why? In order to reach to the final node, I required the current. Then obtain, obtain the address of the last and last but one node. Or you can say last and last previous of last node. While current pointer right link is not equal to null. We keep on increment until it reaches to the null by making use of current equal to current pointer right link. And uh, before we uh, move for the next one, we assign the uh, copy that current to the previous one. So previous equal to current, current equal to current pointer right link. Okay. Uh, then we got both current and previous. Then we can delete this uh, current like uh, I am deleting the current digital item equal to percentage D current pointer info and free current. This last node is deleted. Make previous node as the first one. So earlier previous pointer right link contain what the address uh, the last node but now this becomes deleted. So previous pointer right link it becomes now Null because it is deleted. You can type previous pointer r ring equal to null. Then uh, first always return first. Okay. Then write all these functions inside uh, all these steps inside the function. Okay. And if you want to write, you can you can write previous for this. Then uh, display doubly linked list. Like uh, I'm going to display all the elements of an linked list like uh, we, uh, we start from the current equal to first this case is for a uh, list is empty then uh, if current pointer here you have to make use of r link actually it is only link I have taken we should make use of the r link if current not equal current pointer r link not equal to null uh, count uh, print of current point current pointer info current equal to current pointer r link okay uh, keep on visit until it is to the null display all the information then uh, I am making use of count value to identify how many nodes are there after displaying each uh, node the count value get incremented so number of nodes equal to percentage D count and you can say that it is also finding the length of uh, W linked list okay uh, okay just go through the video in tomorrow class I am going to in uh, today class, I will solve the queries. Thank you.